The concept is to drive these remotely controlled bodies called avatars. They're grown from human DNA mixed with DNA of the natives. I need your help. Before we get into the video make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell if you haven't, in order to be the first to get notified when I release new videos. Avatar 2009 Full Movie In Summary, Recap, Plot, Synopsis, or whatever you will call it. In 2154, humans have depleted Earth's natural resources, leading to a severe energy crisis. The Resources Development Administration RDA, mines a valuable mineral unobtainium on Pandora, a densely forested habitable moon orbiting Polyphemus, a fictional gas giant in the Alpha Centauri star system. Pandora, whose atmosphere is poisonous to humans, is inhabited by the Navi, a species of ten-foot-tall, blue-skinned, sapient humanoids that live in harmony with nature and worship a mother goddess named Awa. To explore Pandora's biosphere, scientists use Navi-human hybrids called avatars, operated by genetically matched humans. Jake Sully, a paraplegic former marine, replaces his deceased identical twin brother as an operator of one. Dr. Grace Augustine, head of the Avatar program, considers Sully an inadequate replacement but accepts his assignment as a bodyguard. While escorting the avatars of Grace and fellow scientist Dr. Norm Spellman, Jake's avatar is attacked by a Thanator and flees into the forest, where he is rescued by Neytiri, a female Navi. Witnessing an auspicious sign, she takes him to her clan. Neytiri's mother Moat, the clan's spiritual leader, orders her daughter to initiate Jake into their society. Colonel Miles Korich, head of RDA's private security force, promises Jake that the company will restore his legs if he gathers information about the Navi and the clan's gathering place, a giant tree called Home Tree, which stands above the richest deposit of unobtainium in the area. When Grace learns of this, she transfers herself, Jake, and Norm to an outpost. Over the following three months, Jake and Neytiri fall in love as Jake grows to sympathize with the natives. After Jake is initiated into the tribe, he and Neytiri choose each other as mates. Soon afterward, Jake reveals his change of allegiance when he attempts to disable a bulldozer that threatens to destroy a sacred Navi site. When Korich shows a video recording of Jake's attack on the bulldozer to administrator Parker Selfridge, and another in which Jake admits that the Navi will never abandon Hometree, Selfridge orders Hometree destroyed. Despite Grace's argument that destroying Hometree could damage the biological neural network native to Pandora, Selfridge gives Jake and Grace one hour to convince the Navi to evacuate before commencing the attack. Jake confesses to the Navi that he was a spy, and they take him and Grace captive. Quaritch's men destroy Hometree, killing Nadiri's father, the clan chief, and many others. Moat frees Jake and Grace, but they are detached from their avatars and imprisoned by Quaritch's forces. Pilot Trudy Chacon, disgusted by Quaritch's brutality, frees Jake, Grace, and Norm, and airlifts them to Grace's outpost, but Grace is shot by Quaritch during the escape. To regain the Navi's trust, Jake connects his mind to that of Torek, a dragon-like predator feared and honored by the Navi. Like this video if you are enjoying it, and tell me what you like or think about this video, in the comments section below. Jake finds the refugees at the Sacred Tree of Souls and pleads with Moat to heal Grace. The clan attempts to transfer Grace from her human body into her avatar with the aid of the Tree of Souls, but she dies before the process can be completed. Supported by the new chief Suti, Jake unites the clan and tells them to gather all of the clans to battle the RDA. Korich organizes a pre-emptive strike against the Tree of Souls, believing that its destruction will demoralize the natives. On the eve of battle, Jake prays to Awa, via a neural connection with the Tree of Souls, to intercede on behalf of the Navi. During the subsequent battle, the Navi suffer heavy casualties, including Suti and Trudy, but are rescued when Pandoran wildlife unexpectedly join the attack and overwhelm the humans, which Neytiri interprets as Awa's answer to Jake's prayer. Jake destroys a makeshift bomber before it can reach the Tree of Souls, Korich, wearing an AMP suit, escapes from his own damaged aircraft and breaks open the Avatar Link unit containing Jake's human body, exposing it to Pandora's poisonous atmosphere. Korich prepares to slit the throat of Jake's avatar, but Neytiri kills Korich and saves Jake from suffocation, seeing his human form for the first time. 
With the exceptions of Jake, Norm and a select few others, all humans are expelled from Pandora and sent back to Earth. Jake is permanently transferred into his avatar with the aid of the Tree of Souls. Looks like you. This is your avatar. Just relax and let your mind go blank. It shouldn't be hard for you. They've sent us a message that they can take whatever they want. But we will send them a message. That this... This is our land! Click to watch another video on the screen.